Hello, Luis. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Great. How was your weekend? Mm, very nice. It was great, my weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? What happened? Yesterday, um, I visited the, the beach with my son and my, my wife uh -huh. all day. Costa nice. del Sol, right? <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, what it's, beach? It's, it's, Costa del Sol. Very nice. Mm hmm uh -huh, that I enjoy that my weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you eat a lot of good food? Yeah. Uh -huh. Seafood. Fish. Yeah, fish. <laughs> the most <laughs> fish. Fish, and fish. Fish. I don't know. I, I don't remember the name, but hey. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't remember. But I, I ate fish and um, per beer. I enjoy with my family. Um, Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to do on the weekends is relax with the family. What happened with you, teacher? The nice weekend in the house with the family, going out a little bit of shopping. Uh, oh, really? Typical, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay. You always, chop in the in the mall. Yeah. Always there's you know, always there's something to do in the house. Mm -hmm. Because in the house always you can clean or uh fix or do something, but ah, this one can only <laughs> relaxing. Now this is uh, our activity, daily activity, right? Mm -hmm. Wash the cloth, wash the Clean the house. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay. And you, Miguel, how was your weekend? Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? How are you, Luis? Hey, how are you, Miguel? Uh, the same weekend like you. Clean the house and doing some preparation at the house, at home. <laughs> Painting the house. <laughs> Painting the house. Right? Always, it's, there's always something to do in the house. Yes. It's, it's amazing, but you never, never finish with the things in the house. 
you can try and try and try, but never, never, never finish. Because it's the same activity, right? It's mm -hmm. the same. Yeah. Why should the dish, for example? Exactly. It's the same. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it you eat. Uh, I don't know, dirty the, the dish, right? You eat. Yeah, you, you never stop. Mm -hmm. It's a well, I'm glad that we have the two of you and that you got a chance to relax a little bit over the weekend. Tell me, did you finish the writing exercise? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. The important is for me to listen and hear how is the writing to make sure everything is okay. okay. All right? Okay. All right, Luis, do you want to read? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I, are you hearing me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And in light of the article about apes, gorillas, and chimpanzee, this is say say that in the in the various part of the world indicate those animals understand very well. For instance, the apes are capable of understanding language and using linguistic response uh, at the level of young children. Just because these animals don't have the physical apparatus for producing the speech, we should not assume that they cannot, cannot understand a learn language. On the other hand, this research provides evidence of gorillas using sign to show humor, to insult, to threaten, to produce metaphorical language, and to engage uh, in fantasy plays. As with Coco, a lowland gorilla seemed to have understand a poem written about her. As well as Coco, Washo, Washo and adult chimpanzee, rise as if she were a deaf child, was able to translate words she heard into American Sign Language. Another study consists of the teaching a chimpanzee, uh, named Mackenzie, how to communicate using keyword or symbol. Only that stitch. You know, that is very good, Luis. Very good, very professional writing. Uh, Luis, how long did that take you? Mm, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, the, the, the line. Or the no, no, it's the excellent. Word. It's excellent, Luis. What you have to be careful, Luis, is remember when is the exam, you have to do it in 20 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes. Yeah, you, it's good writing, good vocabulary, good contrasting the ideas, very nice selection of words, Luis. That would be an excellent score in the exam, excellent score. Oh. But remember, the difference is in the exam, you are pushed, push, 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 because it's for the time. Okay. Not, uh -huh. not one hour, not 45 minutes, you have to do it fast, okay. but excellent writing still. All right, uh -huh. good. Who else would like to read their example? Who else would like to read their homework? Kalena, look the face. I didn't do the homework, teacher. Okay, all right, no problem. Kalena, ni me pregunten, yo no lo Now it's okay, all right, no problem. Let me let me ask someone else. All right, Miguel Franco have the same face too. Miguel Franco too. Uh -huh. Teacher, I homework. Oh, wow. All right, excellent, Kalen. Excellent. All right. <laughs> if you want me to read? Yes, Kalena, please. Okay. Please read. Okay. According to the to the investigation, one said that it's possible that animals can communicate with humans. Recent research showed that they can communicate at the level of a young child. However, 
other things, there is not enough research to believe that the animals can have that ability. They question the, uh, I don't know what I can, validity. The um, val, validity, I don't know what, I don't know, you know, okay. Of this research, they think maybe it's an emotional attachment that the animals can discriminate sounds or understand language. Also, they want to scan the brain of the human and uh, uh, apples to make a comparison to see if they really communicate. Okay, very nice. Very nice. I think it's a great job for comparing, for describing the two situations. Um, remember, always at the end, try to add like a, um, a conclusion, try to put a conclusion and not only finish, but a way to close, a way to close the statement. Okay. Very good. Very good. Who's next? Who's next? Miguel Franco. Okay, Kalena. Good choice. Good choice. Kalena San Miguel. All right, Miguel. Sorry, teacher, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't be the last class. Yeah, that's and nobody Kalena, talking about it. That's why okay, Kalena Okay, maybe laughing. Alexander, Alexander. Do the <laughs> Alexander, excellent, Kalena, excellent, excellent choice. Okay, Alexander. Good evening. Good guys, evening, Alex. Guys, really, I forgot the homework. <gasps> I, I promise Alex. because. Alex. <laughs> you, you know. The Saturday, really, the Saturday I was uh, uh, busy, really busy. And yesterday at the at the uh, in the morning, I go out of the house because I prepare some document for the ELSA because I need to show some uh, business. And really, I forgot that. Hmm. But if you if you give me a, a time tomorrow, I promise I okay. present that. The, the okay, please. Okay, okay tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kalena, choose another person. Oh my God. <laughs> what about Marvin? Marvin, okay. Let's go with Marvin. Hey, good evening, everybody. <laughs> good evening, Marvin. He's ready. Hey, uh, yeah, Marvin <laughs> is ready. Yes, yes, I'm going to read. I don't know if, but I try. Um, according to the reading, apes have the ability to communicate using sophisticated linguistic response. Also, gorillas have developed a response to the and simulate uh, the communication and show the uh, and show others kind of ability. Chimpanzees studies demos demonstrates that can communicate using keyboard of a symbol, but according to the listening, communication is the ability that belongs only for the human being. Studying mass sophisticated perform that with a scanning machine brain take a picture of a human in apes and demonstrate that it's not the same ability for human in, in apes. That's all. That, no, that's good. That's good. Very nice, Marvin. Very nice. Good choice of words. Good selection. Marvin, try to be a little bit longer in the writing. Remember, you have to have a long enough writing where everything is put into there. Remember, always try to separate into paragraphs. Try to separate ideas. First the compare, then the one story, and then the other one. That way it'll be better. Not mm, all good, but not mixing. Have a separation. All right, Marvin, excellent. Okay. Select the next person, Marvin. Who is the next person? Next person, I think is only Mirna. Mirna, excellent, sir. Excellent, all right. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good evening. I read the same text, teacher. I read it the last time. I read 
I repeat that again. <laughs> okay. Language between animals and humans. Investigation make comparison between the humans with animals, like chimpanzees, apes, and gorillas. Both have abilities to communicate and they have comprehension to understand the human using symbols. In other hand, it's interesting those research about how communicate with animals. Only that teacher. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Good okay. job in making and doing the homework. That's excellent effort. It's very good. But remember, in your writing, you have to use to write more and give more details. In the writing, you have to have a long writing because you have 20 minutes and they expect you in 20 minutes to have 300 or 400 words, okay? Because it's approximately, imagine is what is one word every 10 seconds. So minimum, it should be around that time, if not more. All right, good job, Mirna, but good job. Who's next, Mirna? We have Ivania, Roxana, Nuri. Well, I don't remember. I don't think Ivania and Roxana came on Thursday or Friday. Roxy, teacher. Roxy. Roxy. I'm here. Roxy, did you do your homework? <laughs> Yes, but I don't know if it's, it's okay or okay. no. No problem. I Let tried. Nuri, did you come on Friday? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And you have the homework, Nuri? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. Okay. Ivania, did you come on Friday? No, teacher. I okay. was last day, two uh -huh. weeks, the last two weeks. So no homework. Okay, okay, Ivania, no problem, no problem. All right, so first Roxana and then Nuri. First Roxana and then Nuri. Go ahead, Roxana. Uh, okay. <clears throat> well, many investigations have been made about, about apes communication because these animals use linguistic responses at the level of human shield. This study has shown that some gorillas seem to provide evidence of certain signs to communicate humor and other feelings. Being able to communicate is one of the most important ability of human species and can, can have apes disability. Well, some scientists made famous investigations about it, but uh, this communication is acquisition or not. And there are controversial studies about it. And there is not criteria criteria to support if they have acquisition communication. <laughs> okay, very nice. Very good ideas. I think that's very well structured, good concept. Now, the important is how much time did you take to write it? Oh, 15 minutes. Excellent, excellent, because you have to watch your time. Because remember, yeah. you're going to have only 20 minutes. Always, only one mistake is. Uh, the mistake that you had is that when you make the question, remember, question is change the subject and the ideas. It's not like a sentence. Oh, okay. For example, in your in your example, you said um, apes can have disability, and it's a question. So no apes can have disability. Is can apes have disability? Okay. Okay. So remember, make the change. And remember the difference, when to put sentence and when to put the order for questions. Excellent. All right, Nuri, it's your right, opportunity. Okay, <laughs> okay teacher. I'm going to up the camera, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, investigation around the world about the understanding and behavior of some animal as the gorillas, apes, chimpanzees indicate that they can have a communication due to signs, sound, a keyboard, a group of research that have a sure be working with them. No, no, excuse me. A group of research that have been working with they can assure uh, that evidence. One time, uh, a uh, gorilla seemed that understood a poem written about her, and she was able to distinguish some words. 
as a money and funny. Uh, on the other hand, science doesn't recognize that as a language. They never, uh, even they never work with their, because they don't speak like a human. Uh, so they are they adding new tests like neurological scan or MRI that mean uh, brain picture during the communication. Uh, the, I think that the controversial is um, whether this animal really can or not uh, communicate with person. <laughs> okay, teacher, I'm finished. Okay, thank you, Nuri, very nice. Nuri, good job in making and doing the homework. Remember, when you finish the writing, you need to finish in a nice way, not, not like there's a more, but you don't have more information. So remember always to make sure you finish the conclusion. And the other is vocabulary. Nuri, you have to be careful between the pronoun they and them. Is in two mistakes, you say with they, but it's not with they, it's with them. With them. The chimpanzee uh -huh. or the okay. monkey. Not theirs. With they. them. Uh -huh. Them. Yes. Okay. 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 So remember okay. the vocabulary, the pronouns, and the conclusion. You have to make it like the where you summarize it or you finish. That's the important part. Okay. Okay, good. All right, guys. So now we have a better idea for our writing. It's not easy, but you can see that it's possible. It's possible to do in 20 minutes, but you have to be focused in the subject. You have to be focused in what you're going to do. Yes? So right now we're going to go to our next one. This was for the, hang on, let me share my screen. It'll be easier. <laughs> okay. So here, this is our writing practice in integrated writing task. In the next one, okay, this is integrated writing, or this is the writing practice test one. This is just for us to practice. The same thing, we're going to listen. You're going to listen and read, and then you have 20 minutes for everything, okay? Here, we're going to, first, we're going to read together. We want to read and then we're going to listen and then we're going to do the writing. Okay. Who would like to do the first paragraph, the reading? Me. Okay, please. Okay. Asthma. Asthma is usually seen as a condition whose symptoms can be adequately controlled with the right medicine. Researchers point out that it is an intermittent disorder characterized by temporary bouts of inflammation of the airways, which lead to typical symptoms such as wheezing, coughing, and shortness of breath after each episode of now as an attack. Symptoms subside and they always return to normal. Okay, thank you very much. First, let's take a look at the vocabulary. What is the vocabulary okay. there? Which words you know or don't know? Let's see. So, uh, like wheezing, such as wheezing. So wheezing is the medical, the form for when you are like ah, okay. it's difficult to breathe. Uh -huh, this is the wheezing. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Airway, okay. teacher, what happened? Inflammation was the airway. So the airway is where the air can pass from your nose, your throat, is the passage for the air. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shortness. The shortness of breath is that the people don't breathe normally. They... Yes, because it's high effect of the asthma. Correct, is the effect mm -hmm. of the asthma. Mm -hmm. 
Both, teacher. Both. Both. Is two. Both is two. The ah uh, no, sorry. No. Temporary bout. Temporary bout. Uh, is temporary uh, episodes or temporary situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The next one. Who's going to read the next one? Can I teach her? Yes, of course. Okay. Asthmatics tend to be susceptible to certain triggers in the environment. These include, but are not restricted to animal floor, pollen, cigarette smoke, house, house dust, myriad, meatless. I can read. Mites. Mites and perfumes. Attacks. Attacks uh, can also be brought on the uh, on by exercise, emotional stress, or a variety of other factors, including respiratory infections such as the common cold. Okay, good. Any questions? Any words? Uh, triggers. I don't remember to certain certain triggers. It's like to start. Triggers are start. Okay or activate, the things that activate the asthma. Okay. And how you pronounce teacher, triggers or triggers? Triggers. Triggers, okay. Yes, triggers. Mm, the restricted to animal four, but in four. To be where? If you are? Fur. Not fur. fur. The fur is the hair of the animals. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The hair okay. of the animals is the fur. Okay. Okay, who can read the next one? The next, 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 don't be scared, it's okay. Hmm. Okay. Here to read. Okay. What happened? okay, or again, just tell me. <laughs> Go, Kalena. Go ahead, Kalena. Brain <laughs> episode of asthma, bronchial tubes, and the smaller tubes dividing off from this. Now, as bronchial. Toilets yeah. become narrow or block, and as a result, air can't get in out in or out of the lungs easily. There are two basic causes behind bronchial narrow narrowing. Bronchi and bronchioles are squeezed by muscles wrapped around the rather like elastic bands, or they come locked by mucus and swelling inside the tubes themselves. I stop there because- No, no, go ahead, you continue. When the bronchi are constricted, the condition is called bronco, bronchoconstriction. Constriction. Mm -hmm. Bronchoconstriction. Occasional squeezing of the bronchi is normal, but in asthma, surfers, their muscles may react too sensitively to environment uh, triggers. It is also a normal function of the bronchial tubes to produce mucus and in concert with tiny hairs called um, cilia to tap in all irrit in irritants and remove them from the body, thus protecting the lungs. But some asthmatics produce an overabundance of mucus, and this results in block. Go ahead. I can see more in black. Mm. 
the what about now can you see okay see. airways and consequence asthmatic symptoms okay Woo, the last one was big very big all yes. right what about the words what are we looking at lungs or, or lungs l-u-n-g-e-s lungs okay 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 uh -huh. Squealing. Repeat. A squealing. A squealing. A squealing. Mucus and a squealing inside. Good. Swelling. 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 swelling is like the synonym for inflammation. The swelling. Okay. It's okay. In narrow. 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 Narrow is very small. The okay. it's small, not not big, but narrow, small. Okay. Okay. Celia, teacher. Wrap up. Sorry, wrap up, or or what? Trap. Is it with with tiny hair called Celia to trap? To trap, to capture. Uh -huh. the, okay. the idea, the tiny hairs to capture, to trap. Okay. Capture. Teacher, what is the pronunciation of the word asthma? Asthma or how? Asthma. 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 Mm -hmm. Like as. Okay. Like in Spanish, asthma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like in Spanish. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's look at the activity. Now we need here. Now we need to hear a related lecture and we need to remember, learn to take notes because then you have to write minimum around, you should think about trying to write around 200 words. So take notes and then we have to do the writing task. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Often in medical research, new evidence makes us take a fresh look at causation. Now the immediate causes of asthma are not in doubt, but there is some new thinking about the fundamental causes of this condition. It's been said that after an asthma attack, the airways of the sufferer return to normal. But what about in between attacks? Until recently, it was assumed that bronchial function returned to normal until the onset of a new attack. But it has become clear in some asthmatics that the airways can become permanently narrowed and the walls of the airways thickened. These abnormalities in asthmatics airways are due to what is called remodeling. It used to be thought that remodeling was the result of long-term inflammation a kind of scarring from repeated episodes over a long period. But more recently, it has been suggested that remodeling of the tubes is not only a result of this scarring, but also may be the primary cause of the condition. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to the disease. This idea has gained acceptability recently due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeled airways. So according to this view, remodeling is not just a consequence of asthma. It may also be an underlying cause. So what causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly genetic factors play a role. But it seems that a combination of genetics and the environment are to blame. In other words, certain individuals may develop remodeled vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Okay, tell me what 
are you going to write about? You have to write about two things. What is number one? What did you understand? The causes of, I don't know. It's okay. Uh, it's no right, or, it's no correct or wrong. The important is what you understand. That's how we learn. You explain what you understand. Okay, I, I don't understand about the remodeling. Is a, I, I, the, the pronunciation, remodeling or something like that? Because it's the asthma attack, like a remodeling, or I don't remember exactly, is result of inflammation. Uh, for example, the son student explain about the many children have like a that type of of uh problem about the asthmatic okay something like that that's good but what do we have to do what are the instructions what are you going to do in the writing i i, I just just uh writing uh, about that but I have a question because I don't understand exactly. Is the is correct the 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 words is re, uh, rem, remodeling remodeling or I don't know remodeling that re remodeling. Ah, okay, remodeling. Yes, okay. it's correct. It's correct. Remodeling, but okay. let's listen. Got you have to be careful. The most important is the instructions. You have to listen very carefully to do the activity correctly. Imagine in this moment, already you lost two, three minutes, only thinking about what you're going to do. So we have the opportunity to listen again, but in the real life, you only listen one time. So you have to be careful with the instructions. In other words, certain individuals may develop remodeled vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard. Number one, what do you have to do? Summarize. Summarize. Summarize the reading or summarize the lecture? The lecture. Ah, this is number one. The lecture. Summarize the lecture. Oh. Paragraph number one, listen to number two. Explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. What is the part two? Explain the, the, the cows, eh? ah. the cows die, <laughs> Cast doubts. Ah, doubt, okay, okay. cast doubt. So the idea is in paragraph, the first is you're going to summarize the lecture, the listening. Then you're going to compare to the reading and explain why the audio is, says that the reading is incorrect. This is cast doubts. So why summarize and why the lecture cast doubts or says is not correct the reading. Mm -hmm. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Really, really? It's clear? Yes, yes. Because the idea is, is uh, when we listen to the, the uh, audio, ah, okay, they explain, hey, I, it's a different that I, when I read and the way I explain the lecture, when they, in, in the, um, the audio. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So then, now we understand. Now we have 20 minutes to complete the writing. We are going to have our partners for support only if you need, como se dice, try, but try for yourself. Try to do alone because in the exam, you're not going to have anybody. But right now we have 20 minutes to do as much writing. Remember, try minimum, minimum 200 words. Yes?
All right. How did you feel? Everything was completed? You feel the time passed, not enough time, 200 words? A little stress, a little stress. A little stress. It's okay. A little stress is good for the exam. A little mm -hmm. stress is good because push you, push you, push you to go faster. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to take a look at them and read them tomorrow. The idea is for us to improve and to get faster. This is like I mentioned at the beginning of the course. The biggest thing you have to be careful with is really the time. The time okay. for the listening, the time for the writing, the time for the reading. The time is the biggest factor because normally ah, you read in your time. You do the homework, yes. you take your time. The platform, ah, you, but when you are in the exam, it's not your time. It's every moment is counting. And you have okay. to be prepared. Okay. Okay. Remember the objective Yes, the minimum, minimum is 150. But the more you get, the better it is for points. Not necessary, maximum, but is necessary. Have more than the minimum. Okay. So always try to go for around 200, 200 words or more. Okay. Okay? Okay. Yes. All right, guys. Have a great evening. Okay. Tomorrow, we're going to read to the class and check. And we're going to try to give each other feedback. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you, guys. Okay, teacher. Right. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye. -bye.